Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set up your Sony Vegas and Sony Movie Studio to optimize your disk space on your computer. The first thing you want to do is when you have Sony Vegas running is to click Options and then come down to Preferences. And under Preferences, under the General tab, you'll see that there's a Temporary Files folder. And by default, this is going to store on your C drive. And generally you probably don't want to do that because it's going to take up a lot of space on your C drive. So what you want to do is click Browse and go to another drive. If you have an external drive, do that. And on the external drive, either make a new folder or select a folder to put that on. On mine, I have a folder that I called Vegas Temp Files. I just select that and click OK. From that point on, all the temporary files are going to be stored there. Once I've done that, I'll click Apply and then OK. Now the next thing is when it comes to video capture. You want to click File, Capture Video, and you don't really want to capture video right now, so you can just select OK. It's going to tell you your device is not online, your camera is not online. That's OK. On the Video Capture page, we'll want to go to Options, and then Preferences, and then Disk Management. And Disk Management is where we're going to tell Vegas where to store all that video that we're capturing. Now, if you're capturing high-definition video, it's going to take up a lot of space, and by default, it's going to store it in your Document Settings folder on your C drive. And what you'll want to do is that you want to add a folder, click the Add a Folder, and then select one of your drives, and either make a new folder or select a folder on that drive. In my case, I have a, I create a folder for each video project that I've done. And once you create that folder, put a check mark in there so it knows that that's the folder that you want to put your video in. And if you leave a check mark here in this C drive, it's going to put it there first. So put the check mark in the folder you want to use and then click apply and then click OK. If you follow these simple steps on your video projects, you'll be able to control where your disk files are written. You'll also be able to store all the video for any specific project within a specific folder. If you take these steps early, you won't run out of disk space when it's important. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.